here. I uh, I wanted to do a video today on diamonds. Um, it's the main currency in the game. You need it to buy things. And uh, I've sort of moved to a, a free-to-play uh, method. You know, there, the good thing about this game is that there is just so much that you could do. Um, you know, and if you're, you're spending money, you know, you could, you could spend a lot and still, you know, have a lot more to spend on. So, you know, I feel comfortable at the BR that I'm at and, uh, you know, people are always going to have a higher BR or be stronger than me. It's just going to happen. So I wanted to kind of go over, you know, what I spend my diamonds on and, uh, you know, that might help kind of guide you as to maybe, you know, what to spend yours on. So, to start off, um, I want to go over, it depends what point in the game that you're at, you know, and what you're really looking to do. You know, I went over the, the other video on the rank up for my gear. Um, and, you know, I've got my stuff pretty high, so I'm not really spending any more diamonds on the protection stones. And, you know, I'll probably come back and do that at a later date. But, you know, there's other things that I want to focus on that I feel is going to make my character stronger uh, for where I'm at in the game than spending diamonds on the rank-up stones or the protection stones. I'm sorry. So what I am currently spending my diamonds on is going to be in the market and you go to the shop. Um, I'm mainly going to be purchasing the crafting vouchers. The crafting vouchers are used to create gear. And uh, right here, you're going to see I do the special craft of nine. So I'll wait until I have, uh, you know, nine or 18 or 27. And I'll make sure I get some of the rewards here. So the reason I'm spending my diamonds on that is because right now it's going to net me the most BR, right? I have the turbo set and I have the cosmic set. And both of them... If you see, require five star gear, and then the turbo set here requires uh, seven star gear. So just that gear is gonna gonna net me the most BR out of anything that I spend my diamonds on. Um, you know, again, it depends on what point in the game that you're at. If you're trying to increase your mountain souls or your war mount, you know, you may want to purchase the. Um, uh, where is it? the Mount Soul tickets. Um, but again, you know, it, it hasn't netted me that much BR. It's got good stats and, and good uh, bonuses to damage. But I, I don't really realize much of a difference. It's the, the cosmic sets right now where I'm at that, that's doing it for me. Um, you know, you guys may be at different stages. You know, you may want to increase your holy gear and, and spend your diamonds on the... Um, on the rank up stones or, you know, what I prefer is the remodeling stones. So that's kind of what I'm spending my diamonds on right now is the special crafting vouchers. It was the protection stones. The other thing to keep in mind are the events, right? You can't, you can't forget that at all. Those, some events will give you great items that you need. Um, you know, so you may, instead of want to putting your, your diamonds into special crafting vouchers or the Mount Soul tickets, you may want to just save up your diamonds for these events. One thing that I'm going to do is wait till I have a lot of diamonds. I don't know, maybe 10 or 20,000, um, maybe more, and, and use them on these special events when I really, really want something. Like, this is a good event that I'm probably going to save up my diamonds for, but I'm going to wait till it comes around the next time because... You know, you, you, could, you could spend so much money on these events, but you may not spend enough to get the item that you want, right? You know, so I'd be looking for something like this, like the Pyro Dragon. Even though it doesn't net you BR, what it gives you is, is very powerful for your Mount Soul. So that's just an idea of what I'm spending my diamonds on. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's really it. I mean, the only other thing I will say is how I get my diamonds. So since I'm going to the free-to-play mode, you know, you want to basically get as many diamonds as you can without costing you a penny. And there's two main ways where I get my diamonds. And the rest, you know, you get some here and there. But 
The first is going to be the Revelation Battlefield. I haven't been doing this too, too much, but the chests that you get from doing this, the escorts, uh, the Revelation boss, I mean, this right here at 10%, it could give you 100 diamonds. And you get a fair amount of these. So, you know, you can look at a few hundred diamonds every time you open up like 8 or 9 or 10 of these, um, you know, if you're lucky. And then this one here, has a 60% chance of giving you 200. You know, so if you could get even a few of these a week, um, you know, the, the red ones and, you know, a bunch of these, you know, you could be looking at at least a 1,000 gems or diamonds uh, per week, which isn't bad. You know, it helps you save up for the big events if you want or, you know, save up for the special crafting vouchers so you could do a whole bunch of gear at the same time and get the rewards. Um, you know, and the Escort too. Uh, we haven't done it today, but... You get some chests for that. So that's the first of the two. Um, there is a third one. It's not as reliable. Um, I'll go over that. But the second way is going to be this. It's going to be the wish. The you, you got you. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Y G G. The Yadrasil. Um, if you go to that and you do the wish, okay. This resets after every three days, okay? Now, there is, if you do this enough, I usually do the assist, right? So I'll get that free wish, um, I, don't know, I guess just the golden leaves. And I'll also actually buy every single one of these, okay? So just he bear with me. I know it's going to cost you diamonds to do this. Usually after about two or three days, um, I, I got really unlucky here. I'm only at 100 right now. But after two to three days of doing that, I usually set my stake at 10. I will hit this 800 diamond bonus. So the money that you put into it, or the diamonds that you put into it for buying the assist, okay, you should get more than you put into it from this. Now, just 800 is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is if you like this game and you have a few extra bucks, right? It's not, it isn't going to be a lot. You purchase it once and you're done. It's not like continuously buying. But when I first started this game, I purchased the, um, where is it? No, that's not it. Where is it? I purchased this, uh, this one. Oh no, this one right here. The Yadrasil Wish Privilege. This gives you 200% from rewards and lottery. Okay? So what that means is every three days, if you go to the Yadrasil Wish and you hit this, you get 1,600 diamonds. You know, you may put in seven, 800 diamonds for the assist. Um, maybe not even as much. But you'll get 1,800 diamonds. So you're making, you know, a, a fair amount, about another 900 every three days we're talking about here. Okay? Um, so that's the second way where, where I make my diamonds. Again, when I do the, the lottery, I stake 10x, and I usually always hit it. I went a little crazy and staked 50 just to see if I could get lucky, but it, it wasn't even worth it. So I try to just stake 10, and I sit there and I let it go. And you should hit uh, this uh, end marker. And then any other um, golden leaves that I have, I save them for the next run. So, you know, you, there may be one run every three days where you don't need to get any of these. You know, or you may only need to get one or two days worth. The, the third way that's not as reliable is the, um, the treasure hunt on Tuesday and Thursday. Um... Is it Tuesday and Thursday? No, no, I'm sorry. Every Saturday and Sunday, uh, the Skyrim bosses. If you could finish all the bosses with your league and you kill a boss, you get about 100 diamonds for the kill. You know, so it's not as reliable, you know, because, you know, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Um, but, you know, but that's another way to stack up your diamonds. So that's just to give you an idea of a free-to-play way to save your diamonds and, you know, just have in mind what you want to accomplish and spend your diamonds on it. Don't start spending diamonds on this and that and the other thing because, you know, it's going to take you forever to, to get each one of them up. Just focus on one thing and if you feel like it's 
not your focus, don't purchase it anymore. Again, as you can see, I'm not even purchasing these protection stones, but I'll come back to it at some point. You know, again, this is what I really like about this game. There's so much to do. You're not sitting here waiting for another thing to drop. In fact, you know, sometimes you get overwhelmed with the amount of things that you could get done. But um, that's just kind of where I'm at. You know, any like, comment, subscribe, I really appreciate the support. I really do, guys. Um, you don't know how much it means to me. And, you know, on a really good side note, crypto is up. So uh, <laughs> any questions, anything you want me to do on the next video, uh, you know, just, just let me know in the comments. And I'll try to respond to you guys as quick as I can. Um, have a good rest of your night, everybody. Talk to you soon.